same kind of harsh, ineffectual enforcement tactics from the Bush era are not only being revived, but being expanded under the Obama administration. Later on, speakers will talk about the specifics of these policies, like how disruptive it is to deputize local police to become immigration agents, how disruptive it is to mandate E-Verify, how I-9 and refusing to stop home raids on immigrant families, or refusing to adopt detention rules are destroying immigrant families. Not too long ago, immigrants helped to elect President Obama. With high hopes and deep faith that we would get immigration reform done. But now we're at a tipping point. Secretary Napolitano is expanding programs that are mired with problems. She is expanding programs that are mired with human rights abuses. She is expanding enforcement tactics that are mired with anti-immigrant politics. President Obama's words say reform, but Secretary Napolitano's actions say deportation. We cannot have it both ways. We call on Secretary Napolitano to be first course and to get back on track for comprehensive immigration reform. The very folks who the President Obama says should be legalized are now being raided, fired from work, detained, and deported under Janet Napolitano's policies and practices. We're here to say, let's move forward, not backward. No more Bush-era enforcement tactics. We want reform solutions now because that is the right thing to do for America's workers, for America's businesses, for America's families. So thank you for joining us, and you will hear more about how specific policies are really harming immigrant families and moving us backwards and not forward. So we are part of a, today's event is also part of a national day of action. So there are actions going on in other parts of the country and email action alerts going all over the country. This may be the first national um, uh, protest of a major cabinet level Obama administration official around immigration policies um, that have not gone right. And so now we will hear from community speakers about the community impact and the specifics of these proposals. First we have Sandy Placido with the Northern Manhattan Coalition for Immigrant Rights. I'm sorry, I